for the last few videos, you have been enjoying our road trip. <laughs> Why did we take this road trip? Well, the reason is we actually moved without our cat, Felix. <laughs> so when we moved to Charlotte, North Carolina, we knew that would be a really traumatic move for our cat. So we left him with my family and then we moved with all his stuff, like his cat tree and other things. So his smell was all over the apartment. So I wanted to show you a little bit of the transition and also so you can become as big of a fan of Felix as we are. <laughs> we love him. He is a fat cat that is very happy happy and loves to meow. Hopefully the drive down goes okay. <laughs> I've been searching for this moment. One day one of the best parts of needing to pick up Felix so soon after moving was getting a chance to visit and catch up with family. Traveling and going on adventures sometimes means you don't get to see family quite as often, which we have found just makes the catch up visits all the sweeter. Meanwhile, Felix was having the time of his life. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mom, for watching our Felix while we our were off gallivanting. But we're hoping he loves it in North Carolina as much yes. as he loves it here because this backyard is a cat's dream and yard. We had so much fun with caught chipmunks. Yes. Yes, caught lots and lots of chipmunks. You wiped Very out gruesome. the cricket. 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 Population. Oh, and frogs too. He's good with frogs. What do you mean good with? He finds them. He doesn't hurt them. He just plays. <laughs> right, right? Classic cat. <laughs> he says, yeah, and I sleep with Grammy every night right. on Lucky my little heating, heating pad. pad. If you want it, you can have it. <laughs> we got a heating pad at home, so I'll have his heating pad set up when we get home. Dayton, how are you feeling about driving with Felix? Um, I just hope the medicine works if he gets you know, High anxiety, up, yeah. To the point he almost hyperventilates. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, the vet was very helpful. Our vet thankfully has a cat. She says does the same thing Felix does. Mm -hmm. So she kind of knew like, oh yeah, that's relatively normal for some cats, not all cats. So she had suggestions right off, which I really appreciated. And hopefully he doesn't have too many stinky toots and poops. His litter box is in the back seat right beside Ian's diaper changer. Why well, no? I so I put his litter box right by Ian's changing thing. I was like, well, that's fitting. That's where both of them uh, <laughs> can know. poop together. Yeah. Ian loves Felix, and I'm worried this move is going to shake Felix up, but we love him so much. He's such a big part of our family, mm -hmm. and I think Ian's going to be so happy to get home with him. <laughs> doing such a good job. Yesterday's drive, he was so good in the van. He just got to explore and he even like tried to help Ian a little bit, which was so cute. You're purring. That's a good sign. Does that mean that the trip's going good? Yeah. Felix is literally the dream cat. He is such a happy little guy. Well, actually, he's quite large. <laughs> he likes his snacks. But I like he's so happy all the time. He loves people. He's he puts up with Ian. Like Ian loves to give him big tackle hugs, which I feel like most cats would freak out on. Felix is able to avoid the tackle hugs but he still allows Ian to do it and on occasion, just to be like, okay, you can hug me. And then Ian, oops, Ian is trying to learn how to pet him. So anyway, so they have a good little friendship, but like literally Felix is the perfect family cat. We seriously could not ask for a better pet. I can't imagine life without him. Are you serious? 
is so happy. <laughs> you want to show people your new home? Do you want to show them where you sleep? And all your places? Aww, you just want to show them all of your tummy. <laughs> Let's give you some kitty nap. Felixes love kitty nap. Boop. <laughs> okay, so fast forward three weeks. He's doing great. <laughs> I waited to do the closing and showing you him in his new home until he adjusted and had time to spread his scent and make it his, but he loves the apartment. I do think he would like if we let him outside, which we don't here, um, <laughs> but sometimes we open windows and let him sniff, so that makes him happy. This is his little cat tree, which we keep the curtains open so he can look out and see nature so he has his little spots and he loves all of Ian's toys they share toys and Ian and him like each other for the most part so just as a little teaser of maybe my next series coming up Felix might be moving again <laughs> but this time he's not moving by himself he's moving with us so yeah make sure you're subscribed if you want to know what I'm talking about <laughs>